What's up guys, my name is Ninja Gamer, and today I'm playing Archon Mode with my brother Tosh. Uh, I don't know why I just called my brother Bebe, but that is pretty awkward. Um, today we're going to be playing Protoss vs Zerg, <laughs> and he just replies Bebe. <laughs> He's probably like thinking, what the hell. We are going to be playing Protoss Brazerg and we're going to be showing you guys some uh, Stalker and Phoenix play. Uh, I do recall this game being quite good even though it was a while ago and we are nearing our completion in our road to Platinum. Meaning we only have two more games to achieve Platinum. Zerg here is doing a pretty quick scouting job so I would suspect that this is going to be a spawning pool. Yes it is. Uh, going in for the quick rush uh, and we went pretty much straight Nexus after Pylon I forget who's building I'm not not sure on that I guess we could always just see am I doing anything? Uh, I'm not really sure anyway um, this could be pretty bad for us he has gone ahead and went pretty much a really early spawning pool with no expansions and I'm guessing these are zergling so actually I don't know what's I have no idea how we're gonna survive this guys I think this might just be a GG early on uh, but we shall see how that goes I really don't remember uh, I guess I'm building because he's calling the lings from the scouting that he just did a second ago and um, go ahead and put up the units tab or no, let's go ahead and put up the production tab see what's going on he is gonna go ahead and create the metabolic boost and we're gonna go ahead and get two gate with a cybernetics core we are going up against YOLO Han and YOLO doing it right so he should just be going ahead and attacking us right here um, I th our cybernetics core isn't even done yet, so we might be in trouble here, guys. <laughs> Run, probe. Okay, one Zeola comes out. Is he reinforcing with Zerglings? Not really. So we just have to deal with six Zerglings, which isn't terribly difficult. And he's trying to take down the Nexus, but I would just go for the probes if I were him. I mean, I would have just gone here straight for the jackpot. But um, probably a mistake on his part there. We do now have the Mothership Core, and he's pretty much lost his advantage as far as being able to capitalize on his Zerglings. Now, he does go ahead and go for the probes there, but I really don't think he's gotten any kills. Oh, he has killed two workers. Okay, so that's not bad. And he's gonna go ahead and kill a third and potentially a fourth so we're going ahead and deal with some early harass here guys which isn't always the most fun to deal with actually it's not fun at all but if it's just zerglings we do have the mothership core we should be perfectly fine and he isn't heavily reinforcing it uh, so we should be about good and it is hurting his economy a little bit because I'm sure if you look at the units tab uh, he's only got 16 drones and we've got 28 probes despite the fact that he has killed three probes we're still far ahead in terms of our worker count so I guess this is one thing we've learned as far as early harassment goes is that um, it while it can be beneficial and while it can be threatening uh, there's a lot you can do to counter the early harass and actually still maintain the lead of uh, an early expo so I think this is just one example of of uh, yeah preventing the early harass within the context of having an expansion I don't know we're only platinum guys I don't know I don't know if this is useful at all anyways 
Looks like he's gonna go ahead and pressure us with the drone with the roaches. He is really intent on taking us out here. He's only got 23 drones. I will play this a little bit differently. I would have actually created more drones and worked on my economy, but he's actually pretty eager to try to apply pressure on us, and I don't really think he's gonna be able to do anything because we have the mothership core and the roaches, as you guys know, can attack air. On top of that, we have, uh, I was going to say Photon Overcharge, but we do create the Void Ray as well, uh, suspecting that he is going heavy ground. Um, unfortunately, we don't know that he's coming because we pretty much missed the flight path, missed the big attack coming in, so we'll see how we go ahead and manage there. He is going to go ahead and create Ravagers, which, which to his um, benefit can kind of attack here if you hit it correctly so a big co attack coming in here with ravagers and roaches we'll see if we can go ahead and block that we should hopefully be able to do that so let's see how this goes yeah it looks looks like we are in trouble guys he did hurt his roaches a little bit looks we're probably going to need that void ray He's not really doing much with his queen, so we're going to need that void right here, guys. And let's go ahead and see if we can hold this attack. Did he kill that void ray? Or am I bringing it back? I'm pretty sure I'm bringing it back. Oh, man. Did he just kill himself with the, with the little corrosive vial? Oh, move, 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 move. Oh yeah, so we got some air to ward off the attack, so once again, wasn't a very good attack in spite of his aggression. Uh, I would have much rather have spent that, those resources powering up my econ uh, rather than him, rather than trying to inflict so much damage, so yeah, being overly aggressive, not always the best thing to do, although it has paid off a lot um, in other situations so uh, looks like my brother Tosh has returned so I guess I was dealing with that by myself here uh, which is also another nice benefit of Archon mode is you can multitask <laughs> and just do other shit which is also fun um, or if you need to step away from the computer you can go ahead and do that so Good times with multitasking. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and we've gone ahead and created a couple gateways, a Stargate and a robotics facility to create some immortals, as you can see here. So pretty nice composition. Um, he's still pretty much on the Roach Ravager Ling combo and I would say he's still pretty low on the drone count 33 to 48 drones uh, and we are both just starting our third base but in terms of units loss I have we have killed 26 of these units and even though he has killed eight of our workers I do believe we are ahead in that regard we're gonna go ahead and do our classic two uh, I'm sure he sees this coming our classic two uh, oracle attack and let's see if these two oracles they're not going to be able to go ahead and take out the spore colony we are coming in with the void ray and the frontal at the same time so we're going to go ahead and try to do a two prong attack this two prong attack though however has failed for the most part with uh, the only exception being oh avoid it this void ray right here who's running away for dear life so that probably wasn't the best attack we are we were trying to do something we were trying to be sneaky and do a little oracle um oracle attack in the back and then a frontal push uh in the uh with the main army but didn't work out too quite well, quite well. so 41 units killed and four workers killed to 22 8 still think we are up ahead considering we're pretty much even on the base count although he is getting a fourth base on the 
east side there. Um, and we're just talking about maybe how our timing could be improved. But as far as upgrades, we do have the 1-0 upgrade. And neither of us have really good upgrades. Uh, but we do have at least one attack on the upgrade. So he just has Zergling speed. Uh, he's not really teching up. Oh, I guess he is now getting the lair. Uh, and with roaches, I would... I don't know if he even has the, uh, the roach speed. Oh, he is... No. One zergling there. I don't think he has a roach speed, so I would definitely recommend getting the roach speed as well. Uh, I'm not sure what we were intending to do. thought we were going to try to build a nexus there, but one thing I would say he does do a good job is, of is uh, map control or map awareness. He's pretty much got Minimal overlords field. everywhere. Depleted. Zergling's overlords. He has a pretty good sense of what's going on. With with exception of the golds, he doesn't, he hasn't scouted the golds quite well. And it's funny, the one gold that he doesn't, he isn't aware of is the one that we have. So, but pretty good scouting on his part. We're gonna go ahead and pretty much just, oh, make a bunch of stalkers. And he is getting that attack upgrade as well as the carapace and missile upgrade. We're going heavy on the oracles here. Uh, but I do believe we also have about, what is that, four gateways. And I wish we made a couple phoenixes so we can go ahead and take out these overlords here and there. Um, but he is doing a good job of taking over the whole map, uh, which we really aren't aware of. So we're, uh, once again, we should be doing a better job of map awareness because he's got this whole creep spread here. Uh, but we are finally grouping up our oracles. And let's see if we can go ahead and do some damage here. I'm going to go ahead and take these gold rocks down so we can more easily transition uh, from basically any kind of attack that he tries to inflict on us. A big oracle attack coming in our way. Tons of drones being killed. Spore Crawler, as you saw, did go down, but unfortunately he did just make a group of mutalisks. And these oracles are going to have to run away. Uh, we're like, holy crap, make Phoenix. Thankfully, his meteorisks are pretty much, it looks like the same speed as the, does this have speed? 5.6 to 5.6. So, oracles and meteorisks apparently move at the same speed if he would just stop making those turns. And it looks like we're going to go ahead and reinforce the stalkers here and push these guys back. And we do have the blink, so we do go ahead and take away. Um, one mutilus. But it looks like we've gone ahead and healed 15 workers. We're both at four base, pretty much, and he's mining quite well. He has done a good job to transition from the early aggression into a pretty strong mid game, I would say. Although we do have more supply than him, so. Um, it looks like his econ's doing pretty good, though. Muta Harass is gonna go down. On the base here. Let's see how we deal with this. Hopefully we have a mothership core in the premises. Don't know where our mothership core is. It's probably at our third or our fourth. Uh, thankfully we have made a couple phoenix. Phoenix are always good. Luring them into our stalker. Oh, I love that with the Phoenix you could actually hurt the Mutalisks without even being touched. Um, and they have 5.95 movement speed, so only 0.3 faster. Uh, looks like this pylon is going to go ahead and get destroyed by his Mutas. Uh, we, we are moving out with the big force here. We are moving out with a considerable force here with some Stalkers, Void Rays and oracles to do there is going to be a big match big battle coming down here let's see how this goes mute is coming in but running away where are our oracles guys okay hydras okay oracles coming in from the backside. ravagers dropping down their bio and oracles pretty much getting 
shot down by the needles. We're doing a considerable number of, amount of damage. I'm not sure. Oh, we went ahead and blinked into this. Uh, but it looks like he will go ahead and win that engagement. Guys, with the 1-1 one, one upgrade and the 1-0 upgrade. Uh, we did nearly take out his hatchery. Um, and he has... he's got five base now and we're pretty much trying to start our fifth base another scrimmage going down here it's not looking good for us 2-0 upgrades but we are losing the battle quite a bit phoenix now coming into play probably should have been more active before uh, he's gonna go ahead and try to take down our fourth base uh, but phoenix do a good job of destroying them i think phoenix are really good against roaches and the lings are now trying to take down our fifth base, but it looks like we're going to be able to hold with our photon cannons. Uh, so pretty even-sided match now. Uh, we've pretty much even on the units lost as far as resources spent, and we've killed 146 to 75, and it's a pretty tie game. Uh, we're looking to go ahead and go mass oracle here, uh, but another. We go ahead and trying to take down this fifth base, which it looks like it will fall. Uh, which is quite good. And he is going to go ahead and expand his fifth to the west side. In the meantime, we have been able to secure our expansions pretty successfully here, so we are starting now our fifth base. Uh, Looks like he does have more resources than us, but I think I think we're doing pretty well in terms of structures. Uh, he's got three hatcheries, he's got a spire. I don't think he has an ultralisk cavern or a hive yet. Uh, oh, so it looks like he's gone ahead and made some corruptors. Uh, whereas we've just focused heavily on a phoenix stalker composition here. So, uh, counter to that being Zergling Corruptor, I suppose, uh, we are going to go ahead and harass his fifth base here with DTs, which is something we saw in another pro game. And we know that Zerg hates having to deal with multi-pronged attacks. So we are going to go ahead and try to accomplish that. He does have a grip of Corruptors here. He has about 19 Corruptors. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and take out his 5th and at the same time we're going to apply pressure on his 3rd base here. And it looks like our Phoenix was able to melt these Corruptors pretty quickly here. 14 Phoenix completely destroying his Corruptor army, leaving him with really nothing much else. At the same time, DT's coming into his fourth base. A whole host of drones going ahead and getting killed here. This is not looking good for him. All his base are falling. He's going to go ahead and make those Broodlords. And DT's having a... What's the word? Payday? Alright, Broodlords coming in here. We have three one upgrades. Oh, and he was able to transfuse that. We just go ahead and lift those up. We need to get, take those four colonies out with the stalkers, which it looks like we are doing a decent job of. His other base is completely destroyed with the DTs. Uh, he should be pretty much low on minerals. We could just lift those guys up, guys. All right, let's just executing drones for fun. He's barely hanging in there. But it doesn't look good for him, guys. Oh, well, he's actually doing a really good job of transfusing all his uh, units. What we need to do is... We should have been paying attention and use some of those stalkers to actually kill his uh, brood lords, uh, but we weren't really paying attention, I don't think, and we actually lost that battle. 
while Berserk does not have much at all in the way of resources or expansions, whereas we have five bases, so and starting our sixth base, so we should be pretty good here. He's gonna go ahead and push out with the last army of six Brew Lords. And they do have the one zero upgrade, but we also have the one zero one one upgrade with the shield. Uh, and our sixth base is looking like it's not going to be able to hold. Um, but for some reason, he does choose to. Oh, he's running back because he doesn't have his queens and his crap to support him. And it looks. I mean, these guys should be blinking in. There we go. There's the blink. There it is, taking out the Corruptors with the Stalkers, and the GG does go down, so I hope you guys enjoyed that game. A fun mix of um, Stalkers and Phoenix, and some Oracle to destroy the Roach Hydra. Oh, I didn't see too many Hydra, more of like the Ro well, Roach Hydra Broodlord composition. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was a little bit longer, but please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, or sharing. And if you do have any suggestions on StarCraft content that you would like to see, please go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a happy holidays and talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.